Okay, today we're going to play our little play. Today we will be doing um, Cuphead tricks. I mean, I can't see myself, I don't want to see one yet, so I hope it looks good, I hope it sounds good. First real video, so I'm just going to put my yeah, Inkwell 3200 file. So for this, um, I forgot to show it, um, I'm playing on the Steam Legacy version, I know no one watches my channel anyway, so you probably, so no one's probably even gonna hear this, but to do the trick that I, I use, you have to be on that version of the game. going into your options and controls. I'm playing on a Xbox controller, so this is what I would have. Um, so first thing I do is I just put normal controls. You know, I've jumped to A or whatever. I put shoot to left trigger, um, um, uh, um, X move to um, B, and then I have my switch weapon to X for a really good reason. Reason and I just keep everything else the same. Um, you get um, the roundabout and lobber, and you can do whatever you like you want. Like you know, you can go do like you want. That's just what's most useful to me. And you don't have to go on that expert plus. But I'll just go on regular and then I'll show expert plus. I haven't really played this game in a while though. But what you want to do is you just want to go right up there and just spam it. Spam a couple of EXs if you need to. And then you can just kill bosses insanely fast. That might actually be my, one of my better times of doing that. Yeah, but yeah, you can literally end fast. Um, like you can obliterate, obliterate like Goofy. You can do one trick on Hildeberg. I'm not good enough at it though. Um, just look at like a speedrun of this game, and you'll see. But um, yeah, you can do this with Goofy too. Um, Goofy is another one to practice with, because Goofy, you have to aim in all different directions from Goofy, and I feel like that is a good thing to do with Goofy. So, I would switch my family. Yeah, or you can just do that. Sorry for my lag. But yeah, if you can pull that off, I see 25 seconds. You can do it very fast. And now I'll get into, I'll get into the glitch side of things. So well, that is already glitch, but you get the point. Um, if I go to so this is just something that if you're terrible at the game or like you know, or you just want to see something funny, um, you can do it if you want. Now we want to just wait for the acorn right here. That's usually a good sign. That wasn't a good sign, but if you just want to see the acorns and once you see it, you dash right into it. Wait, hold on. I forgot to do something fast. I usually don't have the um, smoke dash, so I'll just put on the berry one. Yeah, oh yeah, and by the way, if you have smoke dash, that's probably not the best item. Because you need to be able to dash into, um, into them, like, really fast. And, like, the smoke dash is really bad for that, because you gotta hit the acorn, and, like, you gotta hit it. 
you hear me? So he just gets locked. He can't do anything right now. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so he can't do anything right now. Like, no matter how many times I hit him, so you can kill him without him doing anything. So if you just wanna... So if you're bad at this fight, uh, if you're beating the game, I don't know, but... I mean, um... You can just kinda cool trick. If you wanna chill out for a second. This is where the real, um, lock tricks are, uh, where they start, I guess. So for this one, you gotta be semi-good at it. Because you gotta spam. So you wanna wait till about one and a quarter cards. And then as soon as you get two, just spam all of it. Just like that. And if you see the exploding before the, um, Balloon comes up. I've seen people not like this trick because you have to stay in so, what some people say is a harder phase. In my opinion, this isn't that difficult. If you just like know it pretty good. But the first part of the trick is the first part of the trick sucks for sure. Um, so you know it sucks, but it's useful because you can just kill that that fast, which is something. I wasn't really used to, but it makes him look like a joke. So the next one we're gonna do is uh, Jimmy the Great. And you can cheese this fight really bad. You just wanna go right down here and spam. As fast as you can. I mean, as fast as you can. If you get that, that sucks. If you're not good enough at it, I, in my personal opinion, I would just um, not do it. But right here, this is the important part. You just want to spam. Move up with the tiny one up here. Just glide all the way up. It doesn't matter if you get hit. It's okay. see if I pulled it off. Nope, I didn't. So, what you want to be able to do is get enough damage in before that third phase, and it makes the boss a kill. So just go down here, keep spamming, and it keeps as hard as you can. Okay, if it's down here, just stay there, it doesn't matter, you don't have to get the second one. It still hits him more, but it's it's fine. Okay, now I'm just going to stay down here. You want to get at least five cards without a parry. There we go. So you just want to kill him. Like, you can either kill him like that, I'm not the greatest at this fight, so... If I'm playing it safe, I just want to stay up here. Yeah, like, if you just spam it hard enough, he can't really hurt you if you're up here. Okay, I, I got hit, so I'm just going to stay up here. So that is finishing the, um, what, like, the Pinocchio reference fight. You know, the uh, um, ball, the puppet. That's, that's the fight that just ended, so... We're on where Jenny is really giant, we're on that phase of this fight. So, if you just right here, um, you will get a fairly easy knockout. So yeah, that's how to cheese Jimmy the Great. So a lot of people
people, including me, really, really, really hate this fight. We, a lot of people, including me. But this fight, uh, this trick is a little difficult. But and with enough practice, you should be able to get it fairly fast. So first thing I like to do is, well, this is the mandatory part of the trick. You need to get three and a quarter worth of cards. Just like that. Now you're gonna wait for those lasers. This helps me. I parry that. Trust me, this is a good idea. Parry this. Okay. You just wanna throw as much projectiles in the room as you can, and then stand over here. Or into that area and then shoot. And then if you did it correctly, you'll skip the third um, phase. And very useful if you are not good at this fight. I don't like this fight, I don't like that third phase, that third phase sucks. So if you're like me and you don't like it, do that if you can. Takes a little bit of practice, but it's kind of fun. It just doesn't matter if you get a hit. You need to pour as much into it as you can. So for that one, when um, uh, the dragon goes off screen, his hitbox is still to the right. And if you go and pour as much damage into that area as you can, you will get more damage into him. And then you go to the left, and then you just spam as hard as you can. <coughs> and with just the right amount of skill and the right amount of luck, you can do it. So for this one, people say this is the hardest fight in the game. I don't think it's too hard, but I still do like to cheese it. So you want to get that right there. Get under this. So you want to have not um, more than five cards, but more than. But you want to have more than two cards, just for you know luck. So you want to wait for it to be a crack heart, and wait for nothing on screen, change to the rocket, and to the exit done. So if you do that, you will get a really quick kill on, um, I don't remember these boss names, but the robot. <laughs> and then the next one is the devil. Um, I just know this one because uh, it's very quick and very easy. This is probably one of the easier tricks I've done. Um, so what you want to do is, if you just want to wait a little bit, you can also get um, this one. By the way, these tricks, most of these tricks only work on the older versions. So um, use it on that. Like go get go on Steam. You can probably do this on like Xbox or PlayStation with a little bit of. Probably not the best. Um, I, I don't know how you would do it, but you could probably do it in a weird way. <clears throat> so just get it on Steam on your computer and like set up a like Xbox controller, or PlayStation controller, or something like that. But not on like console, unless like you haven't updated your game for in forever. So say no. And then this trick at first is a little boring, but if, uh, again, if you're bad at this fight, it, and it's a little bit slower than the normal, but if you're bad at this fight, I would recommend this if you want to cheat, if you've done it normally, obviously. And you, or you want to just have a little bit of fun, and you want to cheese it. Yeah, that's, that's cool. You know what I mean? You just want to have a little bit of fun. I love doing that. So, you know. So what you want to do is, as soon as he does that, you can stand right here. Fire can't hit you. Okay, take your, uh, like, I can't remember, I'll check after. But you just want to, um, charge that, shoot. And he gets it. Charge, shoot. Charge, shoot. Charge, shoot. Charge, shoot. Charge, shoot. Charge, shoot, charge, shoot, charge, shoot, charge, shoot. And you just want to keep doing that.
but um, that's probably gonna conclude this video. So I'll see you guys next time.